Okay, today I want to talk about using index of and replace, the two different string methods, to do a find and replace. So if you've got a big long string and you want to replace part of that string with something else, or multiple parts of that string with something else, then these are the two methods that we would want to use. So I'm going to show you how to do that without using regular expressions. I'll do another video on regular expressions to show you how you can do the same thing with pattern matching, but for now let's just use these two string methods. So let's say that I have this variable called paragraph. Inside of here is some large piece of text, and I want to replace every instance of some character or some collection of character. So every time I find the word ipsum or dolor or every space or every comma or every period, I want to replace every one of them inside of here. So we'll start off with a space here. Let's say I want to find every space. Well, to start with, we'll write out what we get if I use paragraph index of and then that variable, find. So I'm looking for that space. Let's find out what we get back. Five. Okay. Index of is giving us the position where it found the first space. So here it is, right here. That's the first space. Now if we look for something that doesn't exist in that string, let's say this, the letter x, we run this again, negative 1. So index of is going to give us negative 1 if it doesn't find something, or some positive number that represents the position of that character, or the beginning of that string, within the larger string. Great, so I can do an if statement. Instead of a log, if I was to do an if statement here, and I will log out just the word found, what I'm looking for is the fact that index of is returning a value that isn't negative 1. So I can say does not equal negative 1. I can say greater than negative 1. Either one's going to work as long as it's not negative 1. If it's any bigger number, okay, didn't find the x. How about a space? We'll look for the space. Found. Okay, great. So this is what we're doing, if. Now the problem is that index of is only finding the first match. If I were to do this again and again and again and again like that, it says found every time. But index of is just searching for that space, and every time I run it, it's finding the first one. So that's not quite what I want to do. What I want to do is I want to find the first one, do the replace to get rid of this space, and then look again after I've replaced that. All right, so if we were to do paragraph.replace, and I want to replace whatever's in find with whatever's in replace. So I'm replacing the space with nothing. This is two, two quotation marks side by side. There's nothing inside. This is an empty string. Basically, I'm just removing all of the spaces. write out paragraph afterwards. Do this. Okay. So I know that it found it because it was giving me back the message found before and it's writing this out now. So it's writing out the paragraph. That means it did find it. The value of index of was greater than negative one. But the replace, it didn't seem to do the trick. And that's because this doesn't change the original paragraph. What it does is it gives us back a new string. So the new string, let's say p, if I was to write that out inside of here, here we go. Now the space between lorem and ipsum is gone because this string is a brand new string where the first space was removed. Okay. Great, now I can do the replace and I can see the replace. If I do this four times, and I run that. So the first time through, that space is gone. Second time through, that's gone. Third time, that's gone. Fourth time, that's gone. I'm not losing any more because I'm just creating this brand new variable. If I want to change this, so each time I check, what I have to do is I have to actually update the original string. 
So paragraph is what I want to change. Now if I do it four times, each one of these lines, 14, 18, 22, 26, each one of them is changing the original one. The first time I get rid of the first space, the second time I get rid of the second space, and so on. So we run this again. Oh, yes, of course, we don't want to log P, we want to log paragraph. There we go, replace all four of them. Now we'll clear that out, run it again. Okay, first time through, that space is gone. Second time, the first and the second, and then the first, second, third, then the first, second, third, fourth. Okay, so this is working. But I don't know how many spaces are inside of here, and I don't want to have to write out 600 if statements just on the off chance that there might be 600 spaces inside of here. Instead of doing an if statement, I need to do a loop. I need to run something that's going to go again and again and again. Now we could do a for loop, could do a for in loop, but with a for loop, we need to know at the very start how many times are we supposed to loop. Again, I can say from 0 to 600, loop 600 times, and I'm assuming that there's only 600 spaces or fewer. Not really a great approach, but a while loop. This keeps going as long as this thing works. So as long as the value of index of find, so finding the space, as long as the value of that is greater than negative 1, this loop will keep going. Now this is going to write out a whole bunch of stuff for me, so I'm going to create another variable as my counter. Started at 0 and inside here I will increment it each time. This is not required for the solution. This is just I want to be able to see how many times it looped. I'm guessing in here there's probably about 30 spaces. So I'll run this again. Okay, there we are. So you can see those numbers down the side, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, going through, and every time it loops, so there's 28. 28 times, actually 29 times, because it started at 0. So it's pretty close. 29 spaces inside of here, and we can look inside of here. We'll see that there are no spaces left. In the one before it, there was one space left. In the one before that, there were two. One here, one here. So without a regular expression, we are using a loop to keep checking to see, well, as long as there still are whatever it is this is, whatever we're looking for, as long as I'm still finding these at a position greater than negative one, it means there still are some, so I should still continue to do the replace. The counter not required, simply there to let us see what's going on. So even without that counter, if I come down to the end here and I just log this out once, there it is. There's the final result. There is my updated paragraph that has all of these things removed. Now if you didn't want to change the original value, if you wanted to keep that, all we need to do is create a copy of it. So new paragraph is equal to, let's say, we'll make a copy with concat, and we'll add paragraph to it. Oops, there we go. So I'm doing this to make sure that I'm getting a copy. I don't just want to say new para is equal to paragraph because then I'm really talking about the same thing. Both variables are pointing to this piece of text here. I need to create a new one. So I will do a space. This is my brand new string and I'm adding to it the contents of here. So I'm getting a brand new string inside of here. Now I just replace these with my new one. There we go, like that run it again, and it works. So now I have a new variable that has had all the spaces stripped out of it, and my original is still the same. There we go. So here's the new one with all the spaces gone. Here's the original that still has the spaces in it. 
and we've done our find and replace globally throughout the entire string that we are looking at. Okay, so I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.